Hello YouTubers, right today I am going to attempt, I've never attempted before and I've never done anything like this before, um, to make Darth Vader's head. Now in the next video that I would produce after this one um, is a journal cover, I want to do a Star Wars journal cover for my daughter, uh, my seven year old, eight year old, sorry she's just had her birthday, um, and she's mad on Darth Vader's her favourite. Um, but any sort of form of Star Wars really so I'm going to attempt I've looked and looked and I cannot find anything to do with Star Wars or certainly not Darth Vader at the very least um, in connect in sort of conjunction with making a polymer clay head which is craziness really um, so I've never tried this before so do bear with me and it may not work I may just chuck it all to one side and just not bother but it might just work. So I found a picture of Darth Vader on online because obviously I don't know what he looks like. I'm, well, obviously I know what he looks like because he's he's very very popular. But I personally um, have only seen parts of any of the films. It's not not something that that's sort of my favourite thing. But my husband and my daughter are absolutely mad crazy on him. And like I say, Darth Vader is her favourite. I want to do a journal cover. And I've got all of these, which I'm going to do moulds, which, which are great. And then probably paint on all the details when they've been baked, because it's all in polymer clay. Um, and I want to do a journal cover. So I really need, I wanted to do like dark and light. So light, the good side on the top and the bad side at the bottom. Um, so I'm, I'm going to have a go. I can't, like I say, guarantee what we're going to look like and when by the time we've finished. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. So do bear with me. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. So I, don't, like I say, downloaded a picture off of the internet of a picture of him. That's all it is. It's just a plain picture if I just show you. There it is. Look. If you can see that, I wanted a nice big close-up so we can sort of figure out which bits to do first. Right, so I've cut the back off of just a, a small piece of... Because I don't want it massive, because these, these moulds over here that I will be doing are quite small. Um, so I don't want a massive one, but on the other hand, I do know that Darth Vader is much, much, much... His head is much, much bigger than all of the heads, apart from obviously Chewie. But, I mean... Size wise, it's it's just not gonna. Um, they're not gonna be accurately in place of each other. Um, well, I still think that might be a bit, a bit big. I don't know. Right, my first in thoughts were to use a stormtrooper head, which is there, and then cut off the bits that I want because then it puts the eyes right in the correct place. But I don't think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna try and go for something a little bit like this. Right, I think that's too big, so I'm going to cut the sides down a little bit. Just trying to find the right sort of... Okay. I think it's still a bit fat. Oops. Because I don't want it to be too big. And that, that's really sort of quite essential because it's only on the front of an A3 book. Um, this is some black I had left over, so it does have a little bit, not much, um, shiny stuff in. But I don't think you'll see too much of that. I don't want a sort of square back. So I thought if I just, just pull it in a little bit, it'll just round it up a little bit. Because it's going flat on on a on my um, book cover I do want it flat on the back right so I think that's good for that what I'm going to do is pop some of this through the pasta maker because I want to do his helmet um, let me put that in the bit same Although it shouldn't need to be on the biggest one, I might put it on three in. Let's see what that comes up with. 
Yeah, that should do. It's got some grey running through it, which I don't actually like. So I'll see if we can mix it in. Bear with me. Side view of my arm there. Okay, that's better. So what I'm going to do is just cut that straight along the top there and there because actually his helmet does not come any lower. It comes about level with his chin. Okay, so I'm going to take that down to a point there. Not there. But this bit I am going to take into a point. Oh, my little girl getting snotty about some up. If you can hear that. Okay, because that obviously comes down to a point at the very bottom. I don't know whether I should have just put that bit on. Okay, anyway, what I'm going to do is just wrap that round his head. It's about halfway down by the looks of well. About there, I reckon. And I want that to come okay. which is going to be a rough I'm very indecisive ladies and gentlemen if you watch any of my videos before this you'll be able to see that because I actually have no clear way of looking at it and doing it. It's just a case of I'm one of those that just sort of has a go at it and it either work or it won't. It's got quite a large... Oh, look at that. That shuts beautifully. Okay. What I wanted to do was get the shape of his, his mask on there. So I know that's where it comes to look. So... I'm going to come down just a little bit there and I've got to try and stop and think about this now. But this is just so later on we can just got his mask and it would just go straight on. I can't guarantee this is even going to work, but we'll give it a go. Oh, I've just thrown a bit away, I want not I know. If I put that round. Yeah, that's not going to work. The sides need to be sticking out. So it needs to be more squarer. Right, okay. So let's try that again. all that back together perhaps I think what I'll do is make them separately so that we've got more control <coughs> okay so I'm going to take that from about there so I know firstly that's too long, it's going to be about there, and it kind of wants to be about there and there. So I'm going to put a little line there, and a little line there. Okay, so now I know that needs to be cut along there try and keep this as neat as you can although you're sort of rubbing it so that it will go and blend into the back of his head it would be easier as long as it was nice and neat right so that now should like I say I'm going to do his front of his mask over his eyes uh, separately okay so that's kind of where we want to be Perhaps still a little bit big. Let's just move it over slightly. Yeah, that's better. So I just need to nick off that edge there. 
okay and that we'll just put to one side and then we'll be able to use that later on for the back of his mask we'll do the like i say the eye bits separately okay so i think the next bit we need to do is his eyes now let me just get a tool out for that because i think i've got There's my dog snoring that you can hear. She's a little bit of a fatty rotty. And she's nice and relaxed in the armchair. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, I just wanted my ball tool. Oh right okay so I'm going to put eyes just under half so about there I think okay so we want these quite deep because we're going to drop some balls in there um, just trying to find a tool that would be adequate enough goodness from all the tools I've got and I can't find that right okay You've got to pull the eye out, but still keeping it sort of neat. Because it's got to go together, like so. I don't feel that that is the tool we need. That's craziness, I can't find... Right, nope, not that one. That one. Okay. So, oh, it's a nice bit of sunshine coming in through the window. Mm, my dog's definitely enjoying that. Okay. I'm going to just take it out there. Just so when we put the eyeball in, it sinks right to the back, sort of down the eye you want it to sort of sink in. Okay. Try and keep them roughly the same if you can. Okay. I don't know about anybody else, but I have terrible trouble with faces. I really do have a terrible, terrible, terrible time with faces. So I thought, oh, this will be easier because he's got a mask on, but it, that's not actually true. And then I thought, oh, I'll look at Kylo Ren. I'm doing Kylo. But goodness me, he's even harder, I think. Okay, right. Try and keep everything nice and clean and tidy while you're doing it. Okay. And obviously when you're pushing it about it will come out of shape a little bit. Just be aware of it and just push it back in. Right, now I'm going to do the eyes next because I think that defines um, really what we're looking for. Well, not what we're looking for. I think that's the next part personally. So make two balls, try and get them the same size. And don't make them too big. Let's see if they'll drop in there. Nope. So I'm going to nip the end off. I'll nip the end off of that. And then what you want to do is squish it down a little bit. And you want to just pinch up the end. Okay, that still, I think, must be a bit big. So I'm just going to nip the end off it again. I want them to fill the hole, but at the same time I don't want them to, to overpower it. So if it still won't work, just use your, your tool and just sort of make it a smidgen bigger.
Okay. We can just see if it fits, which hopefully it will. Oh my goodness. I still don't think that fits in there deep enough. But I literally want it to fall right in. So nip the end off it again. So that's what we're looking for. Just not sort of stuck out too far. Otherwise it'll look like he's got eyeliner on and that's not really where we want to be. Now looking at the picture, actually... It looks like they should be half moon. Alright, let's try that. And then what I'm going to do is just cut that in half. So you've got half and half, like so. That's sort of perhaps more of what we've got. Okay, I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Goodness me, it's a hard life, isn't it? Fatty Rottweiler. Right. <laughs> the apple in my eye. Okay, right, let's try that one now. Oh, it's awfully fiddly. But it's got to go and like be sunk kind of in into <coughs> I don't think that's too bad. I mean, afterwards, when it's been baked and that, you can put a layer of paint on it if you wanted to. Just a little bit. Just to sort of bring the bits to life. Like his eyes are... I think they should be like a very pale grey or a lone dark grey. Would work, wouldn't it? That one's gone down a little bit lower. Hope everybody had a good Christmas, even under the current circumstances. It seems to fly by very, very, very quickly. I think it's because you get to see your loved ones across the Christmas break and then it's all sort of back to normal. Right. So let's see. Yeah, 
Oops, I'm not liking the eyes very much. Oh. It's got lines, three lines. Between his eyes. I knew I'd have trouble with the eyes. I always have trouble with the eyes. Okay, so that's I mean, if you wanted to you could use the back of your knife. I didn't really want to cut it as such, I just wanted to mark it. Okay. Right. So that's the eyes and that part of the nose. There we go. The top of the forehead. Um so now I think we've got to build this bit up here. Only very slightly. I'm just going to put a small bit in. Just to sort of define his coming down like that. Because it is slightly raised. On the picture. So I'm going to cut that into the shape I want it. I might have to have that piece as well. Okay. I need it to be wide enough. Yeah, that's kind of... I don't want it up under his eyes. There's quite a gap. Yeah, that would be okay. So I'm going to cut this into shape. So it comes down like that. So now I want to blend this on, so that's really important. So I'm going to put it about, yeah, about there. So just sweep down the edges with your finger if you can. I think that might be a bit thick actually looking at that because that actually looks like his mouth plate doesn't it his mouth bit I think what I might do is just see if we can cut out what we need of it right, I'm going to try and somehow without disturbing anything. I might have to recut the lines in, I think, afterwards. Let's try this way. Like I say, he may not look 100% like he should, but better to have a go. And I'm told I'm very critical of myself. But it's only if you want him to bring you the best that I possibly can. Right, okay, so that is definitely too wide or too too high. So I'm just gonna work it down. 
like so, to the shape of him, the shape of his face, like so. And then I'm just going to get it sort of quite a defined line there. So do try and get that bit in if you can. If you can't, don't worry. Because we're going to build the nose up in a minute. If you don't have one of these tools, ladies and gentlemen, they're quite quite cheap. They're not. Um, they're quite inexpensive. Of of Amazon. Um, I ordered them. They came in a box. I think I got three of these and um, some other bits and bob. Another one, one with prongs on, which is great for hair. Um, for under ten pounds, I think it was, if I remember rightly. But it's, they're definitely worth doing. If you don't have one of these, just use a cocktail stick. And that will be good enough. Okay. So I just want to sort of spread it out quite neatly. Like so. Don't worry about the lines between his nose because we're going to put those back in in a minute. Because I didn't realise at the time that we've actually got... A nose bit to go in so we're going to do that in a minute it's quite thin there so I'm gonna just sort of bring it round a little bit more so we're trying to make it a little bit thinner <coughs> trying to sort of keep it a little bit neat Okay, that's better, I think. You can, of course, always as well use tools to um, reshape your eyes if need be. Okay, I just want to go along, just tidy up in there a bit, that's better. And in there. Move it around as and well you need to, that's very important. Don't sort of try and do it all in one one angle. Okay. And I'm just gonna make sure that's well on there. Like so. Make sure it's straight. Otherwise that's going to impact on the, the mouth when you put it on. Okay. Just show you what we are sort of done. Obviously, it's quite flat there. 
No, so I'm going to build that up in a minute with a piece for the nose. But I just wanted to make sure that was quite. Actually, I might cut that out, you know. It's a sort of. Oh, no, hang on. No, that should be alright. Then so we're going to have his mouthpiece put on in a second. That's going to be our next part. Okay, so that's what we've got so far, if you can see that. Okay, so the next bit I'm going to do is the triangle that goes on this part. So we're just going to break a small piece off and I'm going to do a triangle straight away before I even stick it on because I just feel like that's the easiest way for me to do it. Some people have a go at putting it on first and then cut it whilst it's in place which probably isn't a bad idea because you've got to try and get it so that the edges are smoothed quite, down quite a lot. Okay, so, what does that look? Mm, bring it down a little bit more. Oh, that might be a bit big. Yeah, it's, it is. I think it's the bottom. It's quite a small triangle. Try that. Try and get it straight, unlike me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just roll the bottom of the triangle just so it sort of sticks on and that and you, you're getting your edges. We can worry about the shape of it afterwards. And any lines and that we can worry about all that afterwards. Probably would be easier to do if your clay was a little bit on the softer side. And I think it's probably too thick right now, but we'll deal with that in a minute as well. I think I'm not, not too worried. I think I'm quite pleased with that. What I am going to do is just go through and just make sure this is all nicely sort of. Because it is quite flat on that bit. Then again, this side. Right, okay. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do now is cut the centre out of it. Okay. 
like so. And then you need a ball tool, just a small one. Which <coughs> you want to straighten up these edges. And they need to be straight. even looking right ladies and gentlemen looking at that I'm just trying to sort of smooth it out in there. I did try and just put the lines in, but it obviously... Okay, so now with my pointy tool I'm going to just come along and do some lines inside. So I'm start in the middle there, and then one down that edge there. Okay. And the excess try and get it out because it will do you no good. Okay. So you can kind of see that there is lines in there. Try and sort of keep the wall of the that piece back. Okay, so that's what you've got, which I'm not entirely sure is correct. I'm still I'm going with it. Okay, try and keep them fairly small. Because his little mouthpiece there is not that big. Right, 
so now I'm going to cut this bit here make sure that's well on there because I moved it down so I just need to make sure it's well stuck on Right, so with a knife, I'm going to cut a triangle. Let me work this down a little bit, actually. So I need it sort of so he's got a little bit there. Just like to say as well, ladies and gentlemen, please don't judge because this is the first time, like I say, I've ever made one, and it's, it's not the easiest character I've ever made. I'm not going to lie. It's quite difficult. Now we're going to put a nose in in a second. All right. Just want to make sure he's nice and smooth everywhere. I'm going to put a neck on him in a minute because that might help with sort of the way he's looking. Okay, so coming off the bottom there, there is an extremely thin, it's got the lattice effect inside, which I'm going to draw on first, and then I'm going to put a very thin piece of this around the outside if you can see that right so I'm going to draw it on very carefully I'm going to use my knife the back of my knife so it's going to take up pretty much I want it to be nice and clean if you can see that Like so, and now with that, I'm going to do, it kind of connects to the top there, and then it comes to a point, and then goes back up the other side, like that. So I'm going to nip that off, about there. Now it's not very big, that is very important to remember, it's just a small like, triangle. Now if it sort of, you can see more lattice around the outside, we're just going to, we can use our finger and rub that off. See, so that's see that in there do you know what that is when you look at it a little bit too big okay so don't be perturbed by it just pull it up a little bit closer perhaps it's easier to put the bottom in place first it's very fiddly it's because he's quite small. If you were doing him a lot bigger, I think he would be much easier. Because I'm doing him and he's only small, 
makes it much, much more fiddlier. And that's got to be word of the day. Fiddlier. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Run something over with that just to get rid of the pattern. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to shape a bit of his face now. can put a neck on him in a minute. Oh, hello. Right, okay. So, let's tidy that up. Try a little bit behind his head. Let's just flatten that out. Because maybe if his head was lifted forward slightly, it wouldn't look so bad. That's better. Right, I've just put a little piece behind the forehead because I didn't want it to. It's kind of sat flat. And I, I, it was kind of the chin was protruding forwards rather than top of his head protruding forward and his chin going backwards so I've just added a little bit to that so do keep an eye open for that bit okay don't look any better yes I think it does right, let me get all these pieces might just shave a little bit off under there so that when we put his neck on in a second oh. doesn't want to be a dodgy shape it's very important Oh, I mustn't forget we've got to put a nose on as well. That's, that's better. Um, right, neck. Don't want it to be too big. I'm just going to make a bit of a square. Well, not so much a square, but that sort of shape and then I'm going to cut straight at the top she says cutting diagonally okay and then the bottom bit is going to come around like that bottom of his neck and then I'm just going to literally go along and just tidy up the edges Like so, don't want it too wide, don't want it too thick either, because it will just make his chin stick out again. Okay. I'm 
Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, that's not working, is it? I think we're gonna have to cut a little bit more off under his chin. It's ridiculous, I'm cutting it off to put it back on. Okay, I think that kind of works. Like so. Yeah, I want it to be nice and wide because the picture shows it's sort of level with the size of his head. So we're talking that. Like that. Okay, so I'm going to tidy up the edge in. I don't think this piece will come into play really until we do his um, helmet. Okay, so I'm trying to figure it out. With hindsight, I think perhaps I'd have done better um, trying to. Oh my goodness! Shape the back that I cut off, because now I'm obviously cut it off, and now I'm trying to put it back on, which kind of is defeating the object really. So maybe that's something to think about for the future. If I ever make another one, I'll tell you what. If I ever make another one, I'm going to do it much better. Willow, you're snoring. Fred. Fred's a nickname. Popped a little bit of weight on across Christmas. Haven't we all? I don't know how that is going to look, I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay. Oh, Willow. What are you doing, baby girl? Hey. <laughs> Jumpy. In Daddy's chair. Okay. So that's that. Okay, the next thing I think I'm going to do is put that piece on his nose before I forget. So it's just a case of, I don't want it very long, I don't want it massive, but I do want it like a little bit thicker and then I'm going to do the bits above his eyes for his helmet so it just goes from that bit there down I'm just going to mix it in with that, but it doesn't matter. Oh, 
Okay, so this has got to be sort of um, blended in. We're going to cut that out on top of his nose again in a minute. So don't worry about that. If you get the worst of it blended in with your spoke tool, then you can just run your finger over it in a minute just to soften it down. It's not so easy at the sides, unfortunately. Putting that in has definitely made a difference to the way he looks. So I'm pleased that we've done it. You see, if you just use your finger and rub it over, it would lump. Don't worry too much at the top here. We've got a piece of grey going in there. I'm going to make sure I put my lines back in. Like so. Okay, so. The next bit I'm going to do is the tops of his eyes. Okay. That one eye looks bigger to me than the other. Like by moving that piece from underneath, it's kind of made it awkward now because he's wobbling. And perhaps it'll stop when we get his helmet on. Making sure my lines are predominant and in place. Above his nose, because that's a big part of it. Right, the next bit I'm going to do then is his uh, this this helmet here across the front of his eyes. So I'm going to do a up and over along and up and over, and then I'm just going to sort of mix that in. And then we're going to have the bit that goes over the top, and then we can put his mask on. And then we can detail it with the grey bits. Okay. This looks like it could be well enough. Okay, so if it was down like that. Okay. okay, let's try that. I want it too thick to try and sort of keep it nice and not thin but right, I can already tell that's not the right shape it's too big so what we're doing is looking for a little bit flat bit like that and then we're going up like that Sounds like the coffee machine's on. Brilliant. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So that's got to go there. Okay, so that seems like it's a little bit long now in the middle. Okay. And then we're going to flatten these out because they've got to go. They've got to kind of stand out a little bit like that. Well, one of my games I play, backgammon. Okay, let's try that. So it's going to go on there. 
like so. Use your pointy tool to help you out. Right, I think that's still too wide, so let's just trim it. Side. Just trim the very bottom off because it comes quite low over it, sort of sits very on the top of his eyes. Okay, let's try that. And then these are kind of Right, I can tell you now that comes down too low. I'll take that off. I'm just going to rub it down gently. If you rub your thumb over it, it kind of disappears, but not. So it just looks like it's meant to be there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work that in. So it's all one part. So all the edges must be around the top, worked in to the shape of his head. Hopefully then, when we put the outside bit on, don't worry too much about this bit here either, because we're gonna we've got a centre spar to put into the helmet there, so we'll sort of pull it a little bit lower if need be there. Okay, don't also worry too much what the back looks like because that's not really a concern because you won't see it because it's going to be stuck down. Now you want the top of his helmet to be quite long because that's sort of um, I can't think what I'm trying to say. He's got quite a long head head. Okay, so now I'm doing that. I've made it so that that's not long enough. But well, for goodness sake. Okay, so that's got to come off because it's not long enough. I think what I'm going to do is, oh, you know he looks awful, doesn't he? I'm going to do him two pieces, I think, each eye separately. And actually, I'm not happy with how thin his head is. So I'm just going to stick a bit on the top over there. Get rid of those lines from that other helmet that we just messed up. It looks a bit gorillary at the moment, doesn't he? He didn't, but now he does. Okay, I'm just going to put some here, just to fill it out a little bit. Because actually it's quite sort of big and bulbous. And I'm going to stick another bit here, because it shouldn't be that flat. Me. I don't know where that came from. Unexpected beast. I do apologise, ladies and gentlemen. Please forgive me. Right, let's try that. 
see what that looks like. That's better. It still looks a bit grillery. Don't worry about what it looks too much like on the side there because when we put his helmet on it will hide that. Oops. Okay, that's better, I think. Not going too well, ladies and gentlemen, not as well as I was hoping. not the easiest character I've ever made. It's good I don't think his head's wide enough. Goodness me. done it again. Right, I'm about to scream. This is just not... Oh, that looks a bit better. I cut too much of his head off. That was my fault. What a spoon. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about getting any more on the front of his head here because we've obviously got eye, the tops of his um, helmet going on. Let's see if I can repair the top of his head. I would have thought I'd have had so much trouble with the top of a head. And it's ludicrous. I need to just stop for a minute and before I make any more cuts. Or anything like that. I need to just stop and think about what I'm doing. Because I'm getting myself all flustered. Because I didn't want to make a bloody, excuse my French, gorilla. It's because I'm getting myself all worked up now. Right, that's better. Okay. Right, better. Not brilliant, but much better. <coughs> okay. Hi folks, uh, sorry about that, just had to uh, take a little break, the camera died, so very annoyingly, as you can see I haven't touched it, oh sorry, it's as we left it, okay, so if I remember rightly we were having struggle with um, his eye bits for his, on his helmet, so we're going to take a look at that bit now. I just want to just make that a little bit more predominant there. And this one. I think I must have squashed it when I've been holding it. That's something that, uh, just to remember as well, whatever you put into place, just be careful because you can squash it and do what I've done. Okay, so I think that will be okay. Okay. So I've been thinking about these eye bits. And I can't help it, I feel like I should have 
shoulda, woulda, coulda. I'm going to stretch this bit out that we measured just a little bit, like so. And I think I'm going to try and do it with this. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Right, okay, okay. Let's do it again. Oh, there's a bit there. No, that's not going to be long enough. I'm going to keep that because I want it to be just a little bit longer than that, but the width is where I want it to be. And I'm just going to cut it so that it kind of does both eyes at the same time. So let's put that on there so we know where we've got to cut to. So that would be my first one. That would be my second one. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer so that we can, it's easier to trim it off than it is to start again. And um, have to keep starting again. Right, I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to lose it because obviously we might need it for whatever reason if this bit doesn't work. Right, so let's measure this out now. So we're coming down this bit. So the back of his mask comes down to there, which would be about right for the tops of the eyes. Right, so I'm just going to gently push it down so it imprints onto the inside. Well, this is what I'm hoping it will do. Well, kind of it's done it. Enough of what we need, I think. So that's where the eyes are. No, that's going to be the back of the head, isn't it, stupid Lisa? Okay. Um, so I think that's one there and that's one there. So... Let me just put a little, mark it out clearly. Okay, so what we're wanting to do is cut it out, aren't we? So if I cut that down there, and then we're wanting it to just shallowly I've just cut that wrong as well. Don't forget, if you've got a bit in the wrong place, it doesn't matter because you can just rub it in. I think I've probably just made a mistake with that, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, I've done it the wrong way around. That's what I've done. That's why it doesn't look right. Oh dear me, ladies and gentlemen. See what I mean? I have no clear direction. I've never made one before, so do bear with me. We will get there. It's just... Just sort of get in there, that's the problem. But we will get there. Right, I want to do it on the thickest setting, because then my theory would be that should we need to make it longer... And we've got a little bit of, uh, I'm going to go in one just to get the width. Okay, so here we go again. Oh dear. So I'm going to lay that on top. I'm going to cut it that way, in that way. Just to tidy up the lines there. That way. And I'm just going to shave these ends off because I want it straight. I wonder whether I'm going to have to actually put it on to make it and cut well, I can't cut it on. This is a trouble. Right. So let's pop them in the middle. There it should be. So there's one. So I'm just going to really gently put a little marker on there, look. And then fold this side over. A little marker there. And I'm just going to give it a little nip where it's in the middle. So I know that that's where it's too long. Right. 
Should we try that again? So I can see one there and one there. Oh my goodness, I'm looking at it. I'm just being really dim at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. Right, okay, I see what I've got to do. So we want to trim that. And straight down. Try that, see what that happens. Okay, now if you're feeling like it's a little bit too thin, just because we've got the thickness, remember we did it on the longer, longer setting. So just flatten it down a little bit and it'll just give it a little bit of extra um, width. But you don't want it too thick anyway, otherwise it won't like, um, you know what I'm trying to say. It won't flap up properly. Right, I've done one much larger than the other, so that might cause me an issue. But let's have a look. Okay, so situate it in the middle. Actually, I think that might be all right. Make it a little bit lower. And I don't want it too tight because it needs to flare out on this side. Right, okay. So, of a fashion, we're kind of there. So, we've just got to tidy it up now. Obviously, it's too big and baggy. Well, thank goodness for decent knives, eh? Okay. So, with that. I don't really want to line, so let's find a tool that we're going to use. Um, where's my pin? To oh, these are good. Okay, so I want that kind of down there, but that I know instantly is too big. So we're just going to hold on to it and cut it round and pull the excess off. And we're going to do the same thing this side. And the excess off. Okay. Now I can tell now immediately that it is too big. So what I'm going to do is because it's laying flat, I'm not too worried about where how it looks at the back as put as such. Obviously, if you're going to make a round-headed one, you need to be a little bit mindful that it needs to. Um, It needs to look a little bit tidy if you're going to use it for like a key ring or something like that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think, without saying it too optimistically, it's a big word of the day. We've already had a word of the day, haven't we? Oh, that's one of my children, morning. my mother, actually. Okay. So don't forget the top bit here is going to be rubbed in. Yes, I can. So, right, ladies and gentlemen, my birthday is coming up, and my mum's just rung, and she's just said, to, "I just heard her say to my husband, oh, where's Lisa? In the other room, recording a video.'" And she said, "Oh, can she hear me?" My, my husband just went now, and I can I can hear every every everything that's being said. 
conniving lot. Okay, so that's going to come flick out a little bit at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut the slack bit off, like so, so it fits properly. So we're just rubbing the edges down now, just blending them in. It's easier to use your finger, I find you get a better, it, it definitely sits better. Okay. I'm going to pick him up now because I want to just straighten out my edges and make sure it's tucked in nicely. Like that. And where we made that slip down the side, that must be like that. And this side as well. And I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, isn't he looking spectacular? Okay. I'm a terrible, terrible, messy worker. I've always been like it. Okay. Try and get them so they're sort of matching as much as you can. Like that. Fantastic. Look at that. I'm really pleased with him. We haven't put all the details on yet, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a line that comes down his helmet which obviously we need to make sure he's got. Oh, we've lost our lines underneath there, look. <coughs> like so. I might just nip a bit of that off there because I think one side's lower than the other. So just a smidgen. Like so. Like that. Okay. Right. Now he does have a line down his forehead. Down here. Um... We only want to make it thin. I don't want a thick one. It's just really there for um, decoration. Like so. Now I'm going to use a little bit of liquid clay to stick this one down because I don't want to push it in and like mix it. That's really important. Like I don't want to um, sort of lose the edge in if you like because it's for decoration only. Oh, I think that might be too thin. Um, no, actually I think that'd be all right. Nice and thin. Okay. We just nip that end off there so it's flat. 
and that one there, so it's flat. Okay, uh, liquid clay. There we go. So I literally just want a smidgen. That much. This is Fimo liquid clay, if you can see the look. Just that much. And I'm just going to rub that up his helmet. Okay. And then I'm just going to use a ball tool. And just make sure it sort of comes down far enough because I'll spread it out a bit. Um, and that stops kind of in the middle there. Okay. Like that. And then that's going to go on there like perfect. Like that. Okay. Like so. Now I don't need to do too much to that because it's not like it needs sort of mixing in or moulding in or anything like that. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Like that. Okay. Now the last thing to do is we have a little bit of silver here. You can see that's just a little piece of silver. You need two well three balls two very small ones and one that's not very big if that makes sense so I'm just going to roll that around there like that that might be a bit big actually they literally need to be really small look like that size so that is nowhere near small enough Okay, like so, squish it. No, it's still too big, isn't it? Or is that one too small? Actually, I think that's more the size. That one's too small then. So we'll take the little bit we dug off of that one and put it on that one. This is for the corners of his mouth. Well, if you can call that a mouth. The gridding. That looks good to me. Okay. And then this one, we want to make a, a um, probably twice the size. If we can. Squish it down. Now you're not cutting it in half, you're only cutting the bottom off of it. Like so. Okay. If you look at any of the pictures of him, Right, I'm just going to put a little bit on the heat on my tray there, on my tile, of this liquid clay. And then we're going to, there's my pointy stick thing. There it is. Okay, because this is going to be quite tricky. Well, I don't know, it would be tricky, I suppose. Okay, so there's one bit there. One bit there. And one bit there. Okay. Now... a little tap down and then this bit goes on the top there and picking it up I've made it a funny shape hang on like that now try not when you tap it down try not to push the sides down because it kind of sits Flat, if if you know if you. I've got a funny jutty outy bit on mine now. I don't know how I managed to get that one there. 
Okay, well I've cut it off now. And there we go, and that just sits on there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A first time, which is always the hardest time, Darth Vader, which I have really enjoyed doing. I don't think he looks too bad at all. I'll get him in the oven. So there you go, if you can see him. I don't know if you can see him, what light you can see him under. He has got a little bit of a sparkle in his helmet, but that's okay. There you go. So thank you for watching. Do have a go. Polly McClay, Darth Vader. Lovely. Please hit that subscribe button so it uh, tells you when I'm releasing uh, any more films, which I'm going to be doing a Star Wars journal in the near future, which is where this little fella's going for. And uh, I'll, it'll just tell you when they come out. So thanks for watching. See you soon.